God you are back. I was so really worried. I thought your dad had locked you up and wouldn't let you come back to me. I thought he was going to do that too, but he didn't. He asked me to tell you to come and see him. Wait, he said I should come and see him? Yes. I'm confused. What happened? Tell me everything. He was surprised when he saw me at home. He asked if I was already tired of the man I'm staying with. Okay, what did you now say to him? I told him I wasn't tired and then I told him about the nightmares. Then what happened next? He said I should come back to the house, but I told him I did not want to marry Vincent, that I want to marry you. You told him that? Yes, I did, but he thinks you are a thief because that's what everyone is saying, that you stole your boss's money. But you know that's not true. I did not take my boss's money. George helped me with that. Yes, I know, and I don't care what they think. At the same time, it's good they think that way, so they will let me marry you. He thinks I'm marrying a thief. So he agreed for you to marry me? Yes, he did, and that's why he wants you to come and see him regarding the bride price. He wanted me to come back home, but I told him I could not because I was working. I'm so proud of you and how you handled everything. I'm also proud of myself, but my dad really believes nothing good can come out of me. That's his thoughts, not yours. Like you shouldn't think that way though, because good will come from you, my love. What is George up to these days? First, he was all caring and now he's not. Every time he tries to be caring, as soon as I speak about it, he immediately acts up and agrees to it. But the last night was crazy at the same time. I loved it. But what am I thinking about him? Or is it Titi saying the truth? No, I don't like him. But I won't lie that I liked last night. But... All of this wouldn't even be happening in the first name if Dennis were here. But something is odd with George. He has been going somewhere lately. He's not in the office. Where could he have gone? And he did not tell me anything about it. Where could he have gone? Is he seeing someone? Maybe that's where he went. This morning he picked a girl and he said baby. Is that why he stopped bringing me breakfast in bed? Because he already found himself a girl now. <laughs> Does he think that would get to me? Like I care. I have my Dennis. He can go and be with whoever he wants to be with. You better hold on to him tight before someone else goes and gets him. All Titi knows how to do is just put words and wrong thoughts in someone's mind. Like I care who is with. All that matters to me now is then he's coming back. George can be with whomever he wants to be with. I don't care. I was not hoping to see you here again. Hope grandma is feeling better and she's not complaining of any pain. Yes, she's fine, but I'm not coming from home. Oh, sorry. I forgot to hear one of the richest men in town who has a company to run. So how is business going? Not to lie. I have not gone to the office today. So if you did not go home or go to the office, where have you been? Hmm. I was with Rose and I had the best time ever. Wow. It seems you love this girl already. So did you ask her out? Of course I did. And she said yes to me today. Wow. I'm happy for you. But what if Esther finds out and it becomes an issue between the two of you? And why will she have an issue with it? She asked Dennis and she stated it clearly in the agreement that we can both have our different lives. I'm just doing what she's doing. I'm just saying, you know how women can be with all this. I remember she was upset when you came home late. Yes, but we have a non-committed marriage. I'm just saying, you know she's home alone, making calls with that online boyfriend of hers. It's not like he's here physically. And when she finds out you're sleeping with someone else, I'm just saying. I'm not breaking the agreement anyway. But you know regarding that, me and her kind of had something last night. You did what? You heard me clear. You don't expect me to spill it out like that. You see what I'm saying? You are wearing her heart silently. You think? This morning, I tried talking about it. She acted like it was nothing more than a mistake. And what did you do about it when she said so? Nothing. I did not want to lose my job. And Rose called, so I left to pick her call. And since I left the house, we've not seen each other. I think she's liking you. But the whole idea of that online lover is still making her blind. I told you, man. I already gave up on the idea of winning her heart. I have rules. See what I'm talking about? You should have slapped her the moment she entered this house. We're the ones spoiling her. How so? I already told her to bring the man home so she can get married. So I know I did not lose on her too much like her mom. 
should have not allowed her to leave the house. She should be in the kitchen working. Hmm. You heard with your two ears that she's working at Queen Esther's shop and she came back on her own. Although she said she was having a nightmare. Did you allow her to leave? You know she will just bring more problems. What if she gets missing in the shop? That's why it is best to marry her off before she does. It's her and that lover of hers that will be in problem. I agree with you here. Even the so-called Peter stole from his boss's shop. If two thieves get married, nothing good can come out from them. So we should make plans about her wedding so she can leave. She has left already, Ben. All we have to do now is collect the money on her head. Her staying in this house won't be in vain. Her bright price. Well, that is true. But with the way you said the boy is broke, do you think he can even afford to pay for the bright price? I doubt he can. But what can you expect? My Sharon is going to marry a very rich man. I know that. And that is why I'm sending her to school. Because I know she won't disappoint me like Lydia. Lydia, how are you doing? It's good to hear from you. Good to hear from you too. I took your mom's advice and went to see my dad today in the house. Hope they did not try to hit you the last time. Oh. He didn't hit me, Rose. Plus, I didn't see mommy at home. Oh, I see. So how did the whole conversation go between you and dad? He was pissed at me that I left the house and he asked me if I wanted to come back home. I hope he didn't agree to stay in the house. I didn't. That's good. Do you know Sharon left the house and she's now staying in the hostel because the house just are too much? Maybe that's the reason I did not see her at home. Anyway, I told dad I could not come back home and I told him about Peter as well. Wow, you told him about Peter. What did he say? I told him I want to marry Peter and that I would rather stay single than get married to Vincent. Oh darling, I'm so proud of you. But did he agree to it? Yes, he did. And he asked that I bring Peter over. I can't believe this. I am very serious about it all. Peter and I will go and see him tomorrow. That's great news. Did he say anything about the nightmares? Not really. He didn't talk about them. I'm so very much happy for you, Lydia. Wedding bells are ringing. I hope so. I hope that we accept him and agree that we marry each other. Hey, baby. How are you doing and how was your day? It went well. How was yours too? It went well, love. Grandma, how are you feeling now? As you can see, this old woman is doing fine. I told you that you did not need to worry yourself too much. Why won't we worry? Granny, don't you know it's just you alone that we've got? So all that matters to us now is that you are fine. Nothing more. That's true, Granny. Just make sure you rest well. No stress of any kind until we get this result from the hospital. Don't mind her, George. I'm very fine now. Esther doesn't just want to accept that I'm old. No, you are not old. Look at you. You are still a babe. So stop telling yourself that you are old. You are just saying that to make me feel better. I know I'm old and I can feel it in me that I'm old. With my babe's permission, I think I and Grandma are going on a son-in-law and mother-in-law dinner. I know you have taken my grandma away from me, so you two want to go out alone. We don't need any third party. No one can take you away from me, my darling Esther. But you know, the offer from George is so tempting. I'm going to have to say yes. See you two later. I have things to do. You did not want to come back home again, right? No, mom, it's not like that. You know I was preparing for my test and the work in this house did not allow me to read. Your father asked me to tell you that you should better learn how to cook, so you better come back home. I'm home now, but I don't need to learn anything. Lydia should just come back home. All this is her work, not mine. She was in the house again. Why would daddy allow her to leave? I thought he was angry that she left the house in the first place. So now that she came back, why did he let her leave? But I don't know how she convinced your father. He allowed her to leave. Your father wants to give her the opportunity to do what she wants. He's allowing her to get married to the man she's with. What? Yes, darling. Mommy, she's about to get married to a thief and good for nothing man. I know it serves her right, but let's see if the whole wedding will even hold. Baby, finally I came like I promised. Yes, you did, but you took too long. Look, I'm pregnant for George. Come on, babe. You should stop talking to him. You know I don't like it. Take your hands off my woman. And if I don't, what are you going to do about it? Hmm. You don't want to know what I'm going to do about that. You too should stop shouting. Thank you, love, for this beautiful morning. Hmm, George did not bring me breakfast this morning. He is actually changing. This is not him. He does not behave in this manner. He did this yesterday. He did not bring me breakfast, but he gave my grandma. Although, I can't blame him. I told him to stop doing all this because he was doing it too much. We have a contract marriage, not a real one. Just get that on my head, George. Good morning, baby. How was your night? Hope you dreamt about me all through and no one else. Morning, baby. Yes, I slept well. 
You know you're the only man in my life. If I don't dream of you, who else will I dream of? I know that, but I love hearing it over and over again. How is your grandma's health? Hope she's very much better. She is fine for now, but we are yet to know what's wrong with her. She went to the hospital yesterday for some tests, but the results are not yet out. So I don't know how bad it is yet. You don't need to worry too much. I'm sure she's going to be fine. You know your grandma is a very strong woman, and I'm sure she will fight it. Thank you so much, babe. How are you doing over there? I'm sure everything is going very well. I can't wait for you to be done so you can come over. Soon, baby. I'm going to be with you. And my friends are saying hello to you and thanks for the money. Please send my regards to them. I hope you are doing fine and they'll find a chance to come to our wedding. Sure, they will. That's why we are going to fix it during a period that they can. So, baby, what are your plans for today? None for now. First, after this call, I'm going to check on grandma. Then I might go to the shop to supervise. And then I'll just come back home, I guess. I see. But why must you go to the shop every day? I don't want you to overstress yourself out, baby. You know I'm doing this so that I understand how everything works again. I just employed this new girl. Can you imagine she can't read or write? Why will you stress yourself out to do something like that? People like her can create trouble for you, don't you know? I just did it to help her out. You need to see how she was crying when I said no. And again, baby, she really needed the job. And that is the best I could do for her. Okay, love. I don't want you to stress yourself do on anything. Sure, I won't do that. I need to go now and see grandma. Take care of yourself. Love you. Love you too. Can't wait to see you. I noticed you slept well today. No nightmares and your eyes look so bright. Yes, I did sleep like a baby. And I did not wake anyone up. I told you the nightmare I was having was a warning to me to see my dad. You know I still don't believe all that. I know you were only having those dreams because you thought your dad was angry with you. So how will you explain the fact that I did not have any scary dreams today? Because you went to see him yesterday and for some reason you are no longer scared and looking over your shoulders. Whether you agree to believe me or not, I know the two are connected. Just as if my dad did something to me. No, he did not do anything to you. The fear you have for him did it to you because you knew if he knew where you were, he would come there and drag you out himself. Maybe that's true. You and Rose believe the same. But I took her mom's advice because she even said when my stepmom tried to leave my dad, something similar happened to her and she almost went mad. I don't even know what to say, but I'm happy that you can sleep in peace now and you don't have to worry about the dreams anymore. Yes, I am so happy about that. Plus, I can go anywhere I want without being scared that someone is going to try to embarrass me out there. That's true. Well, I'm glad you want to see your dad and today we are seeing him yet again. Yes, baby. I just hope everything goes on well. Mom, you that went to see your uncle and auntie yesterday. That's the right thing for her to do. At least now she won't be having those nightmares anymore. Mom, don't tell me you believe it because she left home. That's why she's having the nightmares. I don't believe all those. Look at this one. So because you are now tall as me, you think you know everything and you've seen all. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying science has proven that when one is not in a good state of mind, it tends to affect them a lot. And that's what happened to Lydia. Sometimes I wonder if it's science you went to study in school or law because I don't understand you at all. Of course, I'm studying law. Oh, I'm just stating the obvious here. I'm not going to argue with you. But when next you see Lydia, ask her if her nightmare still happens. I'm going to see her today because she said uncle asked her to bring Peter to the house. He agreed that she can marry him. That's good news. And why are you just telling me now? Don't you know that we are supposed to be there? I planned to be there and I thought auntie would have called you to tell you about it. But I'm very happy that uncle allowed Lydia to be with Peter instead of that being said. Yes, I'm happy for her. I just hope the least they give the innocent boy will not be much because I don't trust my sister. I hope so too. Let me go and dress up so we can go to their place. Don't take too long because I know you start dressing as if you are the one getting engaged today. I don't plan to do that. Hey babe, how are you? Hope you had a good night's rest and you dreamt of me because I did. Good morning, love. Yes, I slept well and I kind of dreamt of you, but it was very short, so tell me about yours. I dreamt that I kidnapped you away from your mom and I had a beautiful vacation with you. I had beautiful moments with you. I think I love the sound of a vacation, but not the other aspects you're referring to. You know, I just want to have good and nice memories with you. So what did you have for breakfast? Nothing yet. What about you? Just took tea. You should go and find something to eat. Don't you know eating early makes you look fresh? I hear you, beauty doctor, but unlike you, I'm not lucky to have a bride who wakes early to make me tea. 
look at you. Who told you she made me the tea? I made it myself. And I also have a cook in the house. Oh, I forgot that you know how to cook. When will you give me the treat of cooking for me personally? Don't worry. Soon. I promise you, if I cook for you, you won't want to eat any other food anymore other than mine. So you're saying I won't want to eat my own mother's food too? I don't think you're sure about your cooking skills. Hey baby, can I call you back? I need to attend to something. I'll call you back once I'm done. Okay, I will soon be going out with my mom. Talk to you later. I love you. Love you too and please take care of yourself, okay? Dr. Charles, so good to see you. You came at the right time. Come, sit down. Let them serve you. You don't need to. I have eaten and I'm glad to see that you are doing fine this morning. I told you I was fine and you did not need to stress yourself. What we are doing here is no stress, ma. We just want to make sure that you feel better. I know you came here to talk to me about my health. Yes, and also to see how you are doing. So how are you feeling, ma? I'm fine. And stop sugarcoating me. I know the test result is out, so what did you find in it? I know I'm dying soon and I have accepted it. You are not dying, ma. You just need to rest and keep taking your medication. I'm sure you are going to be fine. So what did you find? We discovered something new. It's more like a growth. And that's why you need to come in for some tests to know the level of the growth and to see if it can be operatable. You know I don't like hospitals. Plus, I can't survive any operation now. Yes, I know you are old. But that is the only way. I had already made peace with death, but I'm not going to die on the hospital bed with my stomach open. No. Grandma. Charles, you are a very good man who is dedicated to his job. And I appreciate everything you've done for me over these years. But you know, I'm too old for this. But if you don't do the operation, you'll keep being in pain. You can just recommend drugs. I will take them until death comes to take me away. You are not dying now, remember? You said you wanted to see your grandchildren. Yes, I did. But those two are not ready to give me one. But I'm happy to see them happy. I feel fulfilled already. <laughs> Granny. But I will feel more fulfilled if I saw you get married too. And who was that you were on the phone with? You didn't even notice I was in the room. I can be on a call with anyone I choose to talk to. Not like you have an issue with that. Not like I do, but I have an issue with you being on the call and not realizing I was here. What is it you want, Tester? So I can get it for you and stop being dramatic about me being on the call. Wow, I'm being so dramatic now. But no problem. Why is there no breakfast in bed for me this morning? Is that what you want? Maybe, maybe not. You said I was doing too much and I should stop and I obeyed you. So because I asked you to stop something, you did. We both know that you don't do that. That's because I did not want to piss you off or something. And most importantly, I don't want to lose my job. Oh, I see. It's good you came to your senses of not wanting to lose your job. Yes, Esther. I'll stop doing anything that you do not like. So if we're done here, I want to go back to my call. Whatever. You can do what you like. And I'm also going to do what I like. Not like I care. Okay, if you say so. Why are you looking this way? What happened? Or you don't want Lydia to marry that boy anymore? That's not what's on my mind right now. If not because I told her to ask the boy to come today, I would have postponed it. I what's on your mind, Bernard? I was not awarded the contract, Dockers. I don't even know what I'm going to do now. I'm so sorry about that, baby. I didn't know, but I'm sure better contracts are on their way there. I have lost everything, Dockers. Do you know how much I invested in this? Do you know how much I spent to bribe so that I can get the contract? What are you going to do now? I don't know because right now I have no money. Things are not working out the way they were supposed to anymore. I'm not understanding all this you're saying. What I'm saying to you is I don't have any money to take care of this family anymore. All the money I had was what I spent to get this contract. Bernard, you aren't serious. How are we going to feed and also send Sharon to school? I don't know, but this is her final year. And she will bring a rich man home, right? Are we expecting anyone? Come in! Titi, what a surprise! Good morning, uncle. Good morning, auntie. Titi, you came right on time. Lydia is bringing the boy she ran away with. I assume Rose might already know about it. Right, Rose? Yes, ma. She told me about it. What about Sharon? Where is she? Look at your mouth, like she told you about it. You better bring your own man too when you're done with school. Sharon should be in her room. How time flies. Look at them, all grown and big. Everyone.